What's up, guys? It's James here from Smoking UK, where we review, communicate, and educate all things tobacco. Today, we're doing a short and sweet one. Have you ever had a problem with the draw of your cigar when you're sitting down and smoking it, and you're just really struggling to get the smoke into your mouth, and it just becomes an absolute pain when actually trying to smoke your cigar? They're meant for relaxation, and you're having to really work for it to enjoy it. Well, this is going to be the video for you, because there are a few things you could be doing at home so you can sit down and enjoy that cigar. Let's run the intro. And let's have a look, see what you could be doing. We interrupt this program to bring you an important announcement. The first thing we have to remember is these beautiful things that we sit down and enjoy are handmade products. They're not put into a machine, so they're not always going to come out the other end absolutely perfect. The cigar manufacturers are doing everything they can to ensure you get a perfect draw. They have these machines they put in and they blast air through it so they can test the draw flow. I've seen it myself when visiting Nicaragua back earlier on this year, but like I said, these are handmade products, so they don't always come out perfect at the other end. Now, I know how annoying this can be. I've spent lots of money on a cigar, and I've sat down to smoke it, and I just cannot get the smoke into my mouth. But you don't always necessarily have to stub the cigar out and get straight on the phone to some kind of customer services and go through the whole hassle of explaining the problem, sending the cigar back, waiting a few days for the cigar to be shipped back out to you so you can enjoy that cigar. There are things you can do so you can sit down and smoke it there and then when you want to. So let's have a look at the first one. Now this is why I do it in all of our videos and this is why I'm adamant that every cigar smoker should do it, is do a dry draw before you even light up the cigar. That's when you simply take the cap of the cigar off using your cutter and do a draw before you even toast the foot and start lighting it up. That will give you a great indicator of what kind of draw you're gonna be getting. Of course, when tobacco gets warm and it heats up, it moves around, it gets a bit softer, so the draw might change throughout the cigar. Unfortunately, that's just something we cannot predict from the start. But you can do a dry draw and you can test it. If you're drawing and it's plugged, and that means you're not getting any draw all the way through, this is the first thing that you could be trying. Roll the cigar between your fingers, applying a slight bit of pressure. We're not trying to break the wrapper of the cigar, just a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna rotate the cigar in between our fingers and rotate the cigar round and round like this. Again, you can do the same thing, applying pressure by applying it to a table and rolling the cigar across the table between your fingers, applying a small bit of pressure. This will move the tobaccos around on your fillers and you might be able to create that little bit of airflow. Again, do a dry draw in between trying this. It's an absolutely great way and I've had to do it a few times when smoking a cigar and nine times out of 10, that should work. The second thing that you can do, and this was actually taught to me from Pete Johnson of Tatawahe Cigars, is chew the bottom and the cap of the cigar. And of course, like I just said, you're not trying to bite all the way through it. You're not biting the back off of it, because I guarantee you'll do it once and you'll never want to do it again. We're not trying to break the wrapper. We're just trying to move the tobaccos around in there to create some kind of airflow. So a slight bit of pressure. Uh, uh, uh and just rotate the cigar in your mouth, applying small amounts of pressure. Now, I've had to do this more times than I would have liked, but that does really work. And like I said, when tobaccos warm up, they move around. So you might have an absolutely perfect draw. You get halfway through the second, third, and it starts to get a bit plugged. Chew the bottom end of the cigar and rotate it around in your mouth. And it's a great way to move those tobaccos around and create that airflow to get the smoke back into your mouth. Now the final thing that you can do, and I recommend every single cigar smoker should have one of these. I actually mentioned it in our first episode, four cigar accessories every cigar smoker should need, and that is a draw tool. Now a draw tool is very simple. It looks like a Harry Potter wand from the outside, but if we put it out, it creates this very small spike drill bit. Now, what we do with this is we place it into the foot end of the cigar, or if you've already cut the cap off, you can go through that way if that's what you want to. And we place it into the cigar and we slowly 
slowly. We drill the draw tool ever so slowly until we come out the other end of the cigar. This has got little rivets into the side and this will move the tobacco out of the way. It might remove some tobacco from the foot end. So if you get some flakes from at the end, it's not the end of the world. And this will force a hole straight through the middle of your cigar, forcing you to have that draw tool. Now I'm not gonna mention names of brands. I'm not gonna mention origins of tobacco, but I've had to use this quite a few times and it works every single time without fail. This is probably one of the most important accessories that I own. I own a lot. These are really affordable and I guarantee once you've got it, you'll never realize how much you would actually use it. You never know what you need until you've got it. So I'll actually leave a link to this particular one. I'll leave a link to our other ones as well down in the description below. They're absolutely fantastic. They don't take up much room. They fit into most travel humidors. They're absolutely amazing. Definitely get your hands on one of these today. So that's it guys, that's from me. Those are the three things that you could be doing in the moment, on the day when sitting down and smoking a cigar, if that draw is plugged. Always remember, do a dry draw. You're not necessarily doing this just to find out and try and predict the flavors that you're getting. It's gonna let you know if you're gonna have a draw problem before you even lit up that cigar. If these three processes aren't working, or if you don't wanna go ahead and use these three processes, you can more than happy contact our customer services. We will help you out any way we can or shoot us a dm over on social media i'm the guy behind the pages i will help you out any way i can more importantly i want you to sit there and enjoy the cigars you've paid your hard-earned money for so again i'll leave our email below contact our customer services if you've got any problems today thank you for joining me on this video and i'll see you in the next one